Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've had a lot of questions recently about how to save sections and whole pages to our library and reuse them using the Elementor. It's really easy to do. I've got a page here, it's actually my front page. Let's go ahead and edit it with Elementor. And here we are. And what we're going to do today will work perfectly well with the free or the pro version. And if you need to check them out, you can do so from the links below this video. Okay, well, let's perhaps save this section here, the slider. And we'll save perhaps this section, the services section. And then I'll show you how to save a whole page. Okay, to save just this particular section, click on the section that you want. When you've clicked on the section you want, you'll see a little blue tab up the top of the section there. If you right click on the tab, you'll find Save as Template. Just simply click on that. And that was a Ken Burns slider, we'll give it a name. So we know what it is. And it's going to save it to the library, so I'm simply going to save that. Great. Now we can close this down. And let's actually go down now and save perhaps the services section. Exactly the same thing. I'm going to go in there, click on it. There's our little tab. Right click on it. Save as template. And we'll call it services section. You want to be fairly descriptive so you know exactly what it is when you look at your library. And we'll be doing that in just a moment. Okay. Now we saved two sections. Let's now actually save the whole page. And to save the whole page, go down to the bottom here where it says update at the bottom there. There's a little arrow just to the right hand side of it. Left click on the arrow and you can save the whole page as a template. And we'll say whole page home or whatever you want to call yours obviously again we'll save this great well let's show you how to actually load these things now let's go ahead and go to a page I'm gonna go new and we'll create a new page I'm gonna go down to page we'll give it a title I'll just call it sections and I'm going to use the element of full width for this today so there'll be no sidebar and hit the edit with Elementor great and perhaps we want to put that Ken Burns slider at the top here so what we can do we can go over to our little library icon here the little file icon again add template and it'll take you initially to the actual Elementor templates that are available on their site and you can click on one of these and link to their site and download one of these if you want to. A lot of them are pro but there are a few free ones on there also. That's a free one, that's a free one. If it doesn't say pro in the red writing up there or in the white writing on red field there it's a free one and you can use it with the free version of that. But I want one of my templates so if we roll over to the right hand side we've got my templates there's the Ken Burns slider. I'm going to go ahead and insert it. And it says apply the settings of the section 2. If you're not sure, always hit don't apply because it might overwrite your styles. And it always works for me. And there it is. It's popped it in there. There's our little slider. And perhaps we want the services section down underneath. Hit that little icon again. There's a little services section. And you'll note when it's saved in here, it'll tell you whether it's a whole page or a section. This one's a pop up, that one's a page. So we want the services section. So again, I'm going to hit insert. I'm going to apply styles. It won't make any difference to ours because it's come from the same site. And you can also use this for importing and exporting to other Elementor sites also. 
And there we go, it's added that, that top services section to our little site there. Fantastic. Now to do a whole page, it's exactly the same thing. Let's publish and look at this page here. Let's do another new page for the home page. Okay. Call it what you want. This is just the whole the whole page that I'm going to load on here. Again, I'm going to use Elementor full width. I'm going to edit with Elementor. Again, I'm going to go to my little file icon to my templates. I'm going to load the whole page, which is up here, home. As you can see, it's a page. I'm going to insert it. Again, I can apply because it's the same. And there we are. It's popped it in there for us, this whole page. Fantastic. Now, also, you can actually export these again and load them onto a, a brand new site if you want to. So if I just say add a new section here, I'll show you how to export them and import them into a new site. So let's just add a new section here. I'm going to go back in there. I'm not actually going to add anything. I'm just going to use this to show you how to export. So what you can do is go to the one that you want to import or export. So what you can actually do is go up to the one that you want to export to a new site. And obviously the new site's got to have Elementor on it or this is not going to work. But it will export all the images and text and styling for you. So if you go over the three little dots on the right hand side, left click, you can hit export. And as you can see, I'm using Google Chrome here. It's downloaded it to the bottom of my browser here. Yours will download to whatever default file location you've got for your browser. And then if you go over to your new Elementor website here and you want to import it in there, we can go up to the top over here, just get your file up again like we've done here. Well, in fact, let's do that. We can just go in here, add a new section or a new page or however it is you want to import your JSON file. So I'm just going to hit the plus again just for an example. I'm going to go to the file again. If we go up to the top now, we've got a little arrow up there. Import template. Click on that and we can just drop our file up here. And it pops up with a little message. If you've got any animations such as Lottie files and SVGs, you want to enable and import at the bottom here. Because as it says up here, Lottie files want to be unfiltered so they don't stop them. I haven't got anything like that, so I'm going to say import without enabling. And there we go. We've actually got two duplicates there, or one duplicate, I should say. We've got two of the same thing because we exported and imported the same thing. So there you go, guys. That's how to save import and export sections and pages either from page to page or to a completely different site that has Elementor installed on it. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.